Hi everyone, it's Carla from Casey Creates and I'm glad you could take a minute and join me. I'm playing with the products that I'm demoing for the company Crispire or Crispire. Um, I did a video about a week ago of the unboxing of the products and I've never really used wax seals. Many of you are probably familiar with wax seals, but I thought I would uh, do another little demo um, of me just kind of experimenting with them. And so this round part is called the furnace and it sits over the little tea light. And I already know that um, I really like the quality of the spoon. I've watched several videos where people were having trouble with the spoon actually getting really charred and black. And this one is made out of a better quality metal, I think, because it can, it, al it almost looks like it's real copper. Um, it's got that rose gold copper color though. And so I've been playing with it a little bit and I came across a couple of issues that I've seen on other videos. One was where I didn't use enough wax and so it just turned into a bit of a blob. <laughs> also, I don't think I let it melt to a liquidy enough state. This one, I loved how much I used four little wax beads instead of three and I mixed the greens. The stamp that was included in the little kit I um, purchased had um, a mushroom. That's why I chose those colors. And then I was practicing on an envelope, just doing some fun little things like this one. I uh, stamped it over some organza ribbon. You know what? While I'm sitting here, let's put some more colors in. So I poured some out on this um, little board so that they would show up. Part of the fun for me is picking through and finding the colors I want. And I like that some of the colors are pearlized. So let's do a pink one. That was almost like a coral pink. And it's actually nice that even though they're not all the exact same color, they blend and make this kind of marbleized look, which is really pretty. So it is kind of putsy, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, I do get a discount code to offer you, so it'll be in the description box and the link to their website in case you're interested in purchasing their products. And I have to say, so far so good. I made this little uh, trivet. They do sell marble little squares or slabs. Let me see if I can move this and let it melt over here for a minute. Um, but anyway, I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought this glass trivet and it had this uh, really bright royal blue colored, kind of like this color, decal on it. I can't even remember what it said. And I took, it was like, way too much work. <laughs> I took all this time scrubbing it off. What did I even use? I don't even know what I used to scrub it off. And then I had this um, Stamperia decoupage rice paper and I um, decoupaged it onto the back so that you could see the pretty rose print on the front. Um, so I was thinking I was saving money because all I had to do was buy this for a dollar, but it ended up a lot more trouble than it was worth. But now that it's done, it was worth it. It's very pretty and it's a perfect, oops, oh, did you see that? Oh, it's going to be hot, but I almost burnt myself. Um, anyway, I need to be more careful. I'm known to be quite klutzy. <laughs> anyway, so I can pour the wax right onto my little glass trivet and it pops off really well. I think I did get wax on me. Anyway, you guys, you'll be more careful. <laughs> so this is melting nicely. And I think, let me put the ones that I already made in view. I'll stick them up here. 
So, uh, my friend Evie Folladu, she has a YouTube channel, Epsilon Handmade Creations, and we recently did a swap, a journal swap. And in the journal, I had some of this authentic parchment paper, and she really wanted to get her hands on some of this, and I didn't have any more, but I went to the craft store where I purchased it, um, and they had just gotten some in. They only got in two packages, though. So I purchased one. So, Evie, I'm going to pop some of this in the mail to you, but it reminds me of the genuine parchment they may have used back in the days when this is how they would seal their envelopes. And I'll show you the label in case you want to get your hands on some. It's called Antiqued and Hand Finished Parchment. And it just has that wonderful, crinkly parchment sound to it. So I thought maybe I would seal a piece of this. I like any kind of movie set back in the era when they would use a quill pen or a fountain pen and use the wax seal to seal the envelopes. And like they had special seals maybe like for kingdoms or castles or family crests or something like that anyway let's try this so I also discovered well I'm not sure what I want to do do I want to do one on the you know what I do I want to do one on the actual glass first and I'm doing this to show you, you really do need more wax than you think. Okay. And since I have a couple of those that are the mushroom already, I'm going to use my letter K on this one. I like when it gets that big healthy lip around the edge. Can you see that? I'll pick it up and show it to you when a little closer. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get this tissue paper. And I'm going to clean out my spoon. It's a little hot, but I have tough hands. See, look, there's no black charring on this at all. That's really nice. And even if it did, I mean, it's you can work with it, but I'm so messy. I would have black everywhere, so I'm glad this one isn't doing that. And I think because this paper looks so vintage, I want to use more muted colors. So I'm going to put this really pretty taupey color in there and maybe this pretty, like, bronze color we'll melt these for this parchment piece let's see there's another one of the taupey ones and i'll put a pearlized one in to brighten it up a little bit so we'll see how that goes and this pink is like a bubblegum pink it's so bright and pretty take it off. Oh, that worked beautifully. A little polymer clay tool to lift it. And I'll show it to you. Look at it. Made such a perfect little button kind of ring around the edge. And that's my initial. Their waxes are really nice. I've got a pretty pink one. I'm not liking the stained color. I mean, it did make the image show up, but it almost looks a little dirty. So I'd probably use a different marker for that. And then, of course, this one is just somewhat of a fail. Um, they melt really quickly, if you ask me. And clean. There's no real smell. So let's try this one. I do think I'll go on because they make custom um, seals and order one. I'm not sure what I actually want yet, but 
let's do something kind of fun. Maybe I can also put a little bit of twine under this one. Let's see. Oh, my niece is always saying, you're doing too much. I'm probably going to mess this up, but let's just play. That's why I'm here. I'm here to just play and visit with you and um, maybe inspire you to pull out your wax beads and seals and stamps or inspire you to go on and purchase a little kit for yourself. I'm sure they make great additions in journals and tags. I'm just really liking this pink one. It looks candy lit. Oops! Candy like. And this particular kit I got was. Um, a little under $40 um, and I think it was really worth it because I have everything I need the only thing I didn't have was the little trivet and that was a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I made it myself so I'm gonna pour this beautiful combination can you see those colors oops of colors let's just let it melt maybe 30 more seconds or so I find that the more liquidy it is, the better it pours, which, of course, I guess that would be, that would make sense. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I just know I want the bow to still show. So let's see. Yeah, I'll do it this way. Oops. Okay. Flame means hot, Carla. Okay, let's try this. Wait. I'm going to get my little stamp ready. There we go. And I'm going to try to put it right over the knot. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. It's a little blobby. And then put my stamp in the middle. I'm going to press because I want it to get circular, as circular as possible. But you know, perfect isn't, isn't necessary. And back in the day when they really did this, I doubt they were worried about making a perfect circle. I mean, I don't think so, but just sealing it was the main purpose. I'm not thinking it was done to be a, a craft project. <laughs> But because this is new to me, I'm just having a lot of fun. Okay, so again, not enough wax, probably not enough pressure. You can see that the mushroom is sideways. So we're going to chalk that up to a fail. However, this parchment paper has sort of a, I don't want to say a waxy surface, but I feel like I could probably pop this off and not waste the paper. Let me try. Yeah, look, it comes right off. So much for sealing it so that you could disguise so that no one can tell it's been opened because I popped that off with no trouble. So I'm going to try it again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Okay, can you see this? Um, yeah, I'm right here. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this on to my lace. Ooh, it's a really pretty taupey. Oh, no, not even taupe. It's like a bronzy metallic color. It's rolling off the lace sideways, but that's okay. We'll call it art. Um, okay, I think that's enough to get a nice round circle. Let's try it straight this time. There we go. Alright, so it's still going to be a little wonky and not quite round, but I don't know. I'm not going to be too particular because it's just playing. Let's do another green one. 
Some of these greens are so pretty. Green happens to be my favorite color, if you didn't know that. But I like anything like so. This is a little too bubblegum pink, but I like um, like toned down pinks, muted pinks. And I like muted green. I love this green. And I like tan and acru goldy colors. Okay. Let's see, is it ready to come off? Yep. I like that. It's kind of rustic and fun. It's just a little off-centered, but it's all about practice, so that was a practice. Okay, so I've got this melted and ready to go, so let's pour it onto the glass. It pours nicely. I'm kind of trying to let it drizzle in a circle so that when I stamp it, hopefully it will stay in some sense of round. All right, let's get it. So the mushrooms at the top. giving it a little roll in hopes to get some slightly even pressure and we'll leave it and see how it goes. This will probably be my last one that I practice with you guys but I do really appreciate you visiting with me and taking time to learn about Crispire if you didn't already know about it. Here's my wax seal with the little viney ribbon if you can see and the mushroom oh that's kind of fun I like how wonky and this looks very natural and organic I think that would be pretty on a, on an envelope or on a tag so that's all I have for now and if you're interested again the link is in the description box and I'm going to maybe sit here and, well, I'm not going to play anymore. I think I'm going to clean all this up first so I can start with a clean slate. But I'll be hopping over to check out your videos as well. Thanks for being here and visiting, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.